Hello and welcome back to another episode on the TitanCraft server. I'm the Anomaly, this is episode number four, and today we're going to build a couple of crop farms and get some crops going, get our villagers fed, and get that villager breeder cranking out, so stick around! breeder over here it's pretty much up and running we do need to get some food going so that way they start breeding I've got one villager up in the top and I've got two down in the breeding area and I've got a water elevator set up Oops. got a water elevator set up right here so that way as baby villagers grow up I need to block that off As baby, baby villagers grow up, they'll be down here and they'll work their way up the elevator. And then right now I've got it set up so that the water flows right to the next chamber here. So that way I can push them right in there and get them locked in. But in the meantime, we need to get the crop farm up and running so that way I can feed them and get them breeding. Might as well talk about these guys while we're here. So, turns out they're actually built on zombie pigmen. I mentioned they're like zombie pigmen in that if you hit them, they will attack you and kill you. Otherwise, they are pretty docile. But uh, it turns out they're actually built on zombie pigmen and they're holding the heads of the moderators. And of course, they were given the extra armor and the axes and so forth. But what they are, apparently if you kill them, you get the souls of the moderators, that of the heads that they're carrying. And you take those souls back to spawn. If you remember at the beginning of the first episode, we looked down under the floor at spawn and there was a big giant dome area. And you go take the souls there and you fight a boss specific to the server and apparently it's a pretty big undertaking and it requires several people to do it so I think that's going to be one of our goals this season also is to kill some of these guys get some souls and get a team together to go fight the boss but in the meantime we're just going to get this thing cracking here we're going to get the crop farm up and running I'm going to get it built we'll go get some villagers to put in it start working on the tunnel I'm gonna put a tunnel underneath the water that goes over to the breeder and that way we can shoot food around and then what the villagers don't take it'll go back down under the water and into the trading hall area or the kitchen area so that way I'll have some food stocked up in the kitchen area as well as some trading supplies for those farmer villagers that way I can get emeralds and stuff like that so that's the plan right now I will see you when I get this thing done all right got the farm pretty much done here we've got potatoes all down below here ready to go and we've got carrots all filled up up here ready to go now we just need to get some villagers in here. I got the tracks all lined up and ready to go. I also did was playing a little bit with some decoration. Also, I wanted to point out that I built this farm a little bit differently than they did in the video that I linked to. It's mostly the same. I made it one by one smaller, so that way it was an odd number on the sides and I had a true center. Otherwise, it was kind of off center with where you put the villagers and that kind of thing but what that did was that created a new problem where the lighting was a little bit off so I had to move this light back a little bit and then also the water sources were a little bit off as well so I had to go I think it's one two three four five six seven wide back here on this water five wide on this water and then I had to put a single water source on each side at the front as well to be able to hydrate all of the cropland here 
but uh, that's really the the biggest difference is I think it it kind of looks neat anyways with these two single water sources on the front I'm gonna play around with where these with these glass blocks here a little bit maybe some steps instead and just kind of play around with some decoration make it look a little bit better and we'll kind of mess around with that also the top is not finished as well the uh, I'm gonna put some decorations up there probably something blue maybe dome this out somehow and make a circle around it to go with the Santorini theme that we're going for but uh, that's that's pretty much the only differences I made to it it's slightly smaller and the water's a little bit different but uh, I also wanted to show you that the villager breeder is cracking over here it's doing pretty well already I've taken some of the carrots and potatoes and stuff from the crops that we've been growing and I've come and thrown them at the villagers. We've gotten three pod bay areas filled up with villagers here. And I'm having a problem though where these guys are still moving inside of these glass blocks and getting stuck together and that's causing the baby villagers to kind of get stuck and not fall down correctly so I'm wondering if there's a solution for that I'm gonna be looking for that as well but we've got one baby villager down there right now waiting to grow up and come take his place in the breeder but yeah this thing is cracking along pretty well I'm pretty happy with it uh, again I need to figure out what's going on with why they keep moving around and sticking together but uh, I think it's time to go get some villagers for the crops and get that thing going. So I will see you guys at the Orphanarium. All right. Well, it looks like somebody else needed the orphans, all of them, apparently, because they're all gone now. So luckily, we got enough to start breeding our own, and uh, we'll just have to, to deal with it and breed our own villagers. Go about it the old school way, the hard way, the long way. Okay, we have two farmers in here. So I am going to get this one and this one out of here and transfer them over to the crops area. All right, villager farmer one down in the potatoes area. He was just looking around at the crops. I don't know if he's going to start farming anytime soon or not. Hopefully he does. But I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm going to get the next one up there. All right, we've got our two villager farmers in here farming away. And now all we need to do is get our starving villager right here in the middle. So we've got to build a little bit of structure here to hold it. And then also house the water streams that are going to be carrying the food from here all the way back over there. So I will start doing that and getting that put together. And I will see you guys then. All right. Got my villagers in there and set up. The problem is I did not put enough layers. I need an extra layer between the two farming layers. And what's happening is my hungry villager is not far enough away from where they're throwing to not catch. He's actually catching the food, which makes him not hungry. And it also doesn't come down here. So, basically, I need to raise the top level up a full layer. So, that's going to be a little bit of work, but uh, I'm going to go knock it out. All right, we got the farm up and running. I built it a little bit wrong. I accidentally did not put enough layers between the two layers here. So, my hungry villager didn't have enough room to fit 
between the two layers for the other two villagers to throw food at it. And I also had this chute configured a little bit wrong, so when the villager would throw food at the hungry villager, it would hit the top slab and bounce back at him, and he would just pick it back up, so it was never coming out here. So I had to basically raise the top layer up a level and stick another layer between the two of them, and then fix that chute. And it still wasn't quite working right, so I also swapped out the hungry villager that's sitting in there and this thing is cranking out now it's we got almost two stacks of each and I've already cleared that thing out several times and in the meantime I've also been filling out the villager breeder over here and it is full and ready to go we've got 32 villagers in there cranking out babies and it is working like a charm check this out we got couple of nitwits got a cartographer in here looks like we've got the purple coat guy forget his name offhand but then maybe a farmer or a brown coat of some sort but if I could uh, you know walk on the pathway that I'm in here geez oh my gosh all right got back up here now we got 32 villagers in here it's cranking out 16 sets of two and I've got the water streams and the iceway paths all filled up we're gonna run an underwater tube from the crop farm over there to the back of this and I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a solid block item elevator or maybe a drop elevator probably get a solid block so that way I don't have to deal with a bunch of redstone underwater and then I'll have a dropper coming in to the side right here so that it shoots the food up against this glass block and it goes right up against that so that way the villagers can grab it and then I deviated a little bit from the original design it, it it just went straight back up right here but I made this little hook so that way when the food comes back around it slaps up against the side of this and the villagers are able to reach it I don't know if that's a problem or not I saw Doc do that something similar to his his was a little bit longer and so forth but uh, I just want to make sure that it works efficiently so I went ahead and made the little hook and then what we're gonna do is have it come down to a hopper here or maybe just a shaft that goes down to another tube underneath and heads off to the villager trading area so that way any excess food that the villagers don't eat will get carted over here and maybe put into the kitchen or the villager trader area or something it's just gonna get put in chest so that way we can either trade with it or eat it or do whatever we want with it after that and then we also need to get a tube coming from the bottom here where the villagers are that have been bred and have a chute like a glass tube that they can travel along into the side of the island here and off into the villager trading area and as I mentioned in an episode or two before I'm gonna glass the floor of this and underneath is where the villager trading room is gonna be and I might extend this a little bit, make it a little bit more symmetrical, but still keeping a little bit of the natural feel to it, hopefully. And put the glass floor in it, have a large villager trading room under there. Ideally, I want to have a room, like a separate section for the white coat guys, the brown coat guys, the purple coat guys. I want to have, of course, villagers for mending and... Uh, depth strider and unbreaking and all that good stuff that you put on your tools and weapons and everything and then I also want to have armorers so that way if I lose my armor I have a place where I can go get more fairly easily diamond armor that way I can just trade for it and then go get some enchantments and put on it. And I also want to have some weapon smiths to get some cool weapons out of the gates if I ever lose mine and then also of course toolsmiths so that way I can keep a good supply of diamond pickaxes and, and all that good stuff so I'd like to have that kind of setup going on I'll be working towards perfect villagers of course I'm not gonna get them right off I imagine I might get lucky a time or two but we'll have to work through a lot of these villagers to get a nice good setup going on for a villager trading area so that way I can come down here and get suited up and tooled up and armored up and all that good stuff 
if I need to. And I can also set up a shop or something if I want to as well with the things that I get from here. So that'll be cool. And we also need to get a melon and pumpkin as well as a sugar cane farm going. And I'm thinking about putting that over here somewhere and also having it funnel into the trading area because, of course, that's what we're going to be using those for primarily is uh, unlocking trades and so forth. And, yeah, that's a, a lot of work. But I'm afraid that's all I've got time for today. If you liked this episode, hit the like button. And if you really liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time. Let's <laughs> go.